This is the best way to build your skills as an FPV pilot. How's it going guys? My name is Parker Shepard. I'm a travel videographer and FPV drone pilot. I'm in today I'm talking to you guys about FPV simulators and how to build your skills and learn how to fly an FPV drone through the simulator on your computer. Now the simulator we're gonna be using today is called Liftoff. Um, Liftoff is a great simulator. It has 16 different environments that you can fly in. It has millions of different drone combinations that you can do, including real world drone parts. So a lot of the drone parts that I use, for example, my gem fan props that I use, you can actually customize your drone to put those exact same props on your drone in the simulator. Now the best way to get the simulator is to download Steam. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And then from the Steam store, you can actually buy Liftoff from there. Plus they have a bunch of add-ons and stuff in there that you can buy as well. And then you can just install it on your computer. All right, once you guys have Liftoff installed, you're gonna go ahead and open it up. And the first thing you're gonna do is connect your controller to the game. So we're gonna turn my controller on. Welcome to Tango 2, throttle warning, switch warning. And then I'm going to connect it through USB-C here. As it pops up, my controller will say USB joystick. You're gonna click on that. And then you'll see on the game, it'll say TBS joystick detected. And that means that your controller is now paired with the game. So now we're gonna go in and calibrate our controller. So we're gonna go in here to options, go to controls, and we're gonna go to controller. And we're gonna check and see if our sticks are mapped to the drone to make sure that the drone and that the control on the screen matches the movement that we're doing with our controller. Mine is, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to calibrate it in case it isn't working like that. So go in here to calibrate and then click start calibration. And then it will give you some commands on the screen and show you which ways to move your sticks. Now we're gonna center our sticks. So just follow all of these um, all the way through and then it should calibrate it and you can recheck to make sure everything's working right. Now we're gonna double check and everything is functioning properly, awesome. We're gonna exit. All right, and now your controller is set up and you're ready to fly. So to start flying, we're gonna go up here to single player and there's a few different options here. Um, they have tutorial, quick play, free flight, race, and freestyle. I recommend just jumping straight into free flight. Tutorial has like some, some like basic instructions to teach you how to fly, but um, I think honestly the best way is just to jump straight into it and start flying. So we're gonna go free flight. And as I was saying, there are 16 different environments that you can choose to fly in. Um, I recommend starting with an easier one and then just working your way up. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into one of my favorite levels, which is Bando City. I'm gonna go to No Track. Then here you can select your drone. I have my drones here, um, but here you can go through and see all the drones they have. I recommend picking one that says Freestyle here. Like the, the Chameleon is a great drone to learn on. Um, this is more closely gonna resemble a five inch drone, which is what I fly. But I'm gonna go ahead and select my drone. And that's the great thing, and I'll make a video on it in the future and more in-depth videos on this, but you can go in and customize the drones to match your drone real life. So that's what I've done here. So then when I'm flying in the simulator, it's gonna feel like I'm flying my real FPV drone. Once the simulator starts, you're gonna make sure you have your throttle all the way down, and then it's gonna let you fly. So then here you can just kind of practice getting your feel for what the drone feels like, um, how, to, uh, how to maneuver the drone, how to control it, and as you start to build up your skill, you can start hitting gaps, you can start trying different tricks, just practice flying around. One of the best parts about FPV in the simulator is you can crash and not have to worry about breaking your drone, which is why it's a great way to learn how to fly FPV because you're not worried about spending tons of money. So I can try different gaps like that. I missed it that time. And in real life, if you crash like that, your drone will be completely totaled and you have to spend a lot of money and time rebuilding the drone. But since I'm in the simulator, I can just take right back off and keep flying. And if you do crash and your drone is like upside down or stuck or something like this, you just press R on your keyboard and it will reset and you're able to start flying again. And Liftoff also offers a bunch of awesome add-ons like Slipstream where you can chase moving vehicles. They have some micro-loop ones where you can practice flying indoors um, and just kind of a bunch of different add-ons and different ways you can practice flying FPV. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys liked today's video, please drop a like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know down below if there's any other type of content that you guys wanna see, you want me to make a tutorial on anything else. Um, whatever it is, let me know down in the comment section. And yeah, I will see you guys next time.